Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make macro keys for certain games, such as League of Legends or other games where you have to input uh, keystroke com combinations, but you're too lazy to. Now you can get things such as the Razor Orb Weaver, Orb, Orb Weaver if I remember how it's said, um, if that's the name, but those usually cost in excess of at least like $50 or so, which is way more than a full keyboard like this one. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to show you uses the Microsoft keyboard layout creator, um, upon which you can check, you can create keyboard layouts and hotkeys. So here, if I launch it up, you can see how it's blank, and you have the shift, caps lock, alt, control, and control keys. So, most games, as far as I can tell, they use the WASD keys, and maybe Q and E for, I don't know, would it be switching guns, dropping, or like reload, something like that in a first person shooter? Um, I'm not very knowledgeable about, about games, so don't quote me on that. But you have like the entire half of the keyboard that's not used. So what do you do? You can create macro keys. So instead of pressing, what well, what would you press? Say you have, say you wanted to press, hold down E. Say so you wanted to hold down E, and then do R C. So instead of pressing those three keys down at once. What you can do is you can assign, say, up oh, first. Let's let's pull up a file. Oh, not there. Let's load an existing keyboard. Here I'm using the United States Dvorak, not Dvorak, QWERTY keyboard. So let's go down here and load that up. So here you can see the keyboard. So it's if you select the caps lock option, you see it goes all caps shift. And control. Control is blank, but that's normal. You can't exactly assign the copy key using control C under here. So what you want to do, so as I said previously, you just want to do an E, R, and T, E, R, and C keys together. You could assign like the key T, you could do this, E, R, C. Alright. And maybe you needed another action like ZXW, ZX, ZXQ, sorry. You can do that, ZXQ. And you can make these any any length you want. So say I wanted the B key to print out the quick brown fox. Jumps over the lazy dog. I can do that. Oh, okay, so there is a limit. You can only do four characters. But say, what's a four letter character? Um, four letter word. I can do disk. If I wanted the B key to just say disk. So you can change the keyboards. And if you're worried about having caps lock on accidentally in the middle of a match, you can select the caps lock state and see how it reverts it back. So what you do, you have to copy it over manually, unfortunately. It's ERC, so you want ERC, ZXQ, ZXQ, and then disk would be disk. Inverted is caps lock. However, caps lock does carry over to shift. So you see how I've changed it to caps lock, and I press shift. It stays the best. It stays the same. All right. And once that's done, we can select the property so you can change the name of the keyboard. I'll just call it Hotkey Demo uh, Description, which for me would be just HK DM, and that that works. It's okay. Now the name. Of course, there's a limit for the name. I'll just call it hotkey then. And let it do its, its thing. You might notice that over here, the little 
tools that I have here are disappearing. That's normal, it does that. Uh, this program isn't very well optimized, unfortunately, so it does do that. And once you're done creating the keyboard, you can create the DLL and setup packages. So it'll tell you down here. Uh, it, if you're making hotkeys like this, you will get errors. So verification succeeded with warnings. That's normal, so you just hit yes. So it just tells you what the warning is, um, doesn't really matter. So now that that's done, I can open up the directory and it tells you here. Now, now what you need to do is you need to go set up and you do need to run this as administrator. Let's just get rid of this. You do, you do need to run this as administrator. So if you're, if you're using like a school laptop or something, it won't work. So let's just verify this and it'll say it's completed and you can close it but here you can see that it's not showing up so what you need to do is you need to log out and log back in now I'll I'll just do that quickly and I'll be back all right now now that I'm back we can come down to the keyboard area oh it's not the touch keyboard so let's just get rid of that. Go down to the language area, and you can see we have the option here, HKDM. Now, this is why I had the keyboard cam here. So I pull up notepad here, and the keys that we changed was T, which now, one, every time I press it, you see how it prints out ERC, so hand off here. So just pressing the key E, or T, sorry, and see it prints out ERC on the screen. If I press G, it prints out Z, X, and Q. If I print, if I push B, it prints out disk. So it works as a hotkey, so you can use keyboard combinations for it. And uh, so instead of running programs like Auto Hotkey, which you can also use by the way, um, you can do this instead. Um, yeah, and if I hold down Caps Lock, press that once. You can see that it does do the capital letter thing. Now the only reason why you need to log out and log back in again is because it needs to verify the package and you're, you are editing system files. So that does have, tends to happen. But um, apart from that, there's like nothing else. So if I switch back, it's the same. And to switch between keyboards, it is Windows and Spacebar. So yeah. I hope you found this interesting and I'll see you next time.